Say this and then I'll turn it back around. It's Saturday night and um, I came over to my good friend Josh Homme's house from Queens of the Stone Age, Eagles of Death Metal, and we're going to talk some business. And, uh, <laughs> okay. and he just has this new guitar that is the craziest thing I have ever seen, ever. It's actually, it's, it's one of the weirdest things I've seen turned into an instrument. It's this guy, uh, Fred Mangan. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, he has a regular job, but in his spare time, what he does is, what in his spare time, hello. In his spare time, he builds, like he just built a guitar out of a satellite dish, which, is that a good, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> I think that's awesome. It, it, it is, but like, it's a cool idea conceptually, and then, but is it a good idea? Yeah, but does it sound and good? Then I played it, and I was like, well, yeah, yeah, it is a good idea. <laughs> so well, this is... Pick this up, because it's kind of... Well, yeah. The thing, too, is that he's g really good at making guitars, so something this strange is actually weighted properly. Oh, that's where, weird. Where it's like, it doesn't go thur, thur. I mean, guitar makers screw that up all the time. <laughs> like, you know, Gibson screws that up. And, 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 and what is it made out of? All right, well, this is the pipes, the wood pipes from a, a, um, a pipe organ from a church from 18, well, I'm going to get this wrong, 1885. Uh -huh. So this wood is, this is some old wood. Huh. And uh, So these are the actual pipes for, for the pipe organ that make the notes if, if air were to be blasted through them. If you blew really hard, which I'm probably about to, then yeah, it, it would be the whistle tone from a pipe organ. Weird. This neck was rescued from a pawn shop fire after an arson. Uh, he has, I met him through uh, my friend that's in one of Chicago's finest police officers. Uh -huh. So they're always around extreme events that allow you to have access to, you know, 18th century wood and <laughs> pawn shop arsonry. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, and this thing is... It is. It's like it's, it's like playing a coffin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. It feels like maybe you're like giving yourself bad luck when you're playing it, <laughs> which is really exciting for me because, um, well, I'm, I'm over lucky. <laughs> no, like it's too late because I when I was working construction, I once broke eight mirrors on accident, and I was like, God, I mean, how long am I gonna live to sort of make it through this? And that's when I was like, Oh fuck it. Yeah. So this thing is. This thing is meant to get blown out, but when oh, you put yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. into something clear, this thing gets really haunty. Oh, I bet. Like yeah, a, this little thing, it has a tiny little speaker, and, and you use them to, to so it sounds blown out. Right? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the goal is to overdrive them. Plus, this is the shittiest one of the, like, ten of these I have. Yeah. And and it was sitting out in the rain at the place, because you, you go to those, uh, uh, like, used Flea markets? parts. Oh. Well, no, it's an electronics Oh. store where the guy is always Russian who works there and he's yeah. always like you're like uh, do you have any such such and such and he's like no look for yourself yeah. like, doesn't matter which one of the <laughs> doesn't matter what electronics it is. Yeah. part stores you go to it's the same guy you know <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah this was out in the rain under you know 40 pounds of metal and it sounds like it that's you know, cool so, it, it, it's supposed to be blown out, much like, you know, my life. 